This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Glad to have you with us on this Friday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm John Scalzi. Um, my goodness, we're going to have a big change in our weather over the next 24 hours. So yeah. be prepared for that. As Ooh. you head out the door this morning, we have a thin line of showers over on the other coast. A signal that a cold front is in the process of working its way through here. Mm, not, not good news for me. I'm not a fan of the cold weather, and I know a lot of the uh, snowbirds, not so much either. So. Right. Yeah. Well, it's definitely going to be a chill in the air tonight, I think, particularly. Tonight through tomorrow morning. The uh, radar showing that thin line of storms, well, not even storms really, patches of drizzle and light rain. Over on the other coast, there's nothing in our neck of the woods. We remain dry today, but temperatures are already cool in the 60s and will continue to fall. Yesterday we were in the 70s, so a big change, about a 10 degree change in our daytime high temperature today. We may make it up to the 70 degree mark. We may be in the upper 60s within a degree or two of the 70 degree mark, but we will see more sunshine as we head through the afternoon. We'll have the complete chilly weekend forecast coming up in just a few. All right, thanks, John. We will keep a light jacket with us just in case. Taking a look at your Suncoast roadways this morning, Skyway Bridge is clear as you're heading through that direction, moving to Downtown Bradenton looks like traffic is not heavy in that direction. Looks like it may be picking up on 301 heading towards I-75. There's also been some backup this morning in the Bayshore Gardens area in Bradenton. We have a live look off the corner of US-41 and Bayshore Gardens Parkway at Tamiami Trail. Now this is a construction zone, so if you are planning to be in that area, keep an eye out for the construction workers. Obey the speed limit signs and the cars in front of you. It is dark this morning, as you can see, and more traffic picking up throughout that area, so please use caution. Heading to Sarasota County, traffic picking up on Bee Ridge Road and Fruitville. Other than that, I-75 looking clear in both directions and in South County as well. All green if you're making that through your morning commute. Well, topping our news this morning, as the Mosaic Company waits to hear whether or not it can expand operations in Manatee County, those on both sides of the debate now weighing in on the proposal. The Manatee County Ch Commission chambers overflowed with people as Mosaic presented their rezoning request to commissioners. The company asking to rezone 3,600 acres to allow for more phosphate mining at the Wingate East property in Mayaka City. The project has already received approval from the State Department of Environmental Protection, but now is getting mixed reaction from nearby residents. They're a wonderful neighbor. They're uh, a company that to me stands out for their concern for the neighborhood that they are in. I want Mosaic to see that people are organizing, people are paying attention to what they're doing, um, and we're not going to go away. Uh, we care about Florida, we care about our homes, we care about our drinking water. Now, commissioners are expected to make a decision about the rezoning on Monday morning. And speaking of the environment, this morning a new bill making its way through the state legislature could have companies paying thousands of dollars if they delay reporting the release of any dangerous substances. State Senator Bill Galvano of Bradenton created the Public Notice of Pollution Act. It requires companies to notify the Department of Environmental Protection without, within 24 hours of discovery of any spill or leak. The DEP would ha then have 24 hours to report it to the public. Those who fail to notify the DEP would be fined up to $10,000 a day. If passed, the bill will go into effect in July. The city of Venice at a standstill after the state says it cannot ban smoking in public places. City leaders want to ban smoking at parks and beaches. They say they're tired of smokers dropping used cigarette butts on the ground and littering. However, a city ordinance banning the use of cigarettes in public places is no longer enforceable. I wish the council could find a way to keep it no smoking like it's been. The city will begin drafting a new ordinance in the coming weeks. This morning, Bradenton Police former Deputy Chief Warren Merriman is waking up by no longer holding a law enforcement certification. The Criminal Justice Standards and Training Commission is revoking his certification. That decision means Merriman cannot serve as a law enforcement officer anywhere in the state of Florida. Merriman was convicted last year on one count of petty theft for submitting hours he did not work. He was then sentenced to serve three months of probation and then fired by the department in January of 2015. 
Happening today, crews will break ground at the site of the new Mid-County Tax Collector's Office in Sarasota. The new building will create more efficient services for residents and will include a road course for driver's license testing and a new office that will allow customers to make their payments after hours. The design and construction of the new 10,000 square foot building is an effort between the Sarasota County Tax Collector, Public Works and construction groups. In Newtown, those looking to get rid of their old junk will have the opportunity to do so this weekend. The community is holding its annual cleanup. Residents will be able to easily throw away any household items, junk, any yard waste you have laying around. Hazardous materials and electronics, though, will have to be dumped at the main site cleanup site. The cleanup takes place tomorrow from 8 a.m. to noon, and dumpsters will be available at the sites on your screen. Golfers who like to hit the links at the Bobby Jones Golf Club will have two opportunities today to give feedback on how to improve that course. Consultant Richard Mandel has been leading tours of the course this week. The city of Sarasota is paying him $115,000 to provide suggestions and recommendations on how to improve that course. Golfers say it's about time for an upgrade. Come down here seasonally. I always bring a bunch of groups of golfers down here. We'll play here once and they'll say, you know, let's go somewhere else. No one knows how much this is going to cost or not cost yet. You know, we're, we're not there yet. We've got to figure out what's the best thing to do for the longevity of Bobby Jones, for the golfers and the public. Now, if you want to take part in either of today's tours, the next one begins in about a half an hour at 645. The final one will be held at 230 this afternoon. Mandel will then submit his master plan in three months. New this morning, those who live in South County will soon have a new option of where to do their grocery shopping. Aldi is announcing plans to bring a new store to Nokomis. According to the Herald Tribune, the company is applying for building permits for the 1200 block of North Tamiami Trail just north of Laurel Road. It will neighbor the Dunkin' Donuts, a Speedway gas station, and CVS Pharmacy. The German discount grocer first opened up in Manatee County in 2010. Since then, it has open stores in Palmetto, Northport, and Port Charlotte. And it may soon be easier to get around Venice without having to get behind the wheel. The city looking to bring in more ride-sharing opportunities like Uber or Lyft. Those interested in applying must fill out an application for a vehicle for hire permit with the city clerk's office. And a criminal background check and license check will also be required, as well as proof of insurance. Vehicles need to be inspected annually as well. Now all drivers must also have a schedule of rates and charges in their car that can be easily seen by passengers. Well, time is running out to see the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus here in Florida. The final show in Tampa will be on Sunday. Since Feld Entertainment announced the circus will end its 146-year run in May, the cast of Circus Extreme has been playing in front of packed houses. Of course, go figure. It's been a juggling act financially for the Ringling Brothers ever since the elephants retired and ticket sales dropped. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty sad because, you know, this is where I grew up, so this is like home to me, so it was uh, sad news. Many performers remain optimistic, though, that their circus days are long from over, even after Ringling's final show. Certainly, mm -hmm. certainly a sad situation there, but hopefully maybe, maybe something can uh, be put together, you know. I hope so. I know we have our own circus here, which is yeah. kind of a circus in a European tradition, yeah. which is kind of neat. So that's going to certainly be around here. So we're lucky here on the Sun Coast that we'll still experience the circus. Yeah. But uh, those big three ring circuses, I guess, they just can't be sustained. Right. Yeah. We have across our region some chillier temperatures coming your way. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. All right, thanks, John. Well, it may look like playtime, but it's all helping with education. We'll show you why students at local schools are playing with Legos coming up after the break. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. Is death beating you down? You need discipline. You need...
The Debt Ninja. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS, you could be facing wage garnishments, levies, liens, property seizure, cancellation of business license, closure of business. The Debt Ninja fights your IRS debt. That's why you need The Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja has found the best companies in the country who are on your side to fight debt. Want to learn if you qualify for the IRS Financial Hardship Program? Stop the IRS from garnishing your wages. Even if your bank account has been seized, if you have undeclared taxes, if you have existing IRS debt, it's not too late to call, so grab your phone now. Call the Debt Ninja at 800-945-0083. That's 800-945-0083. Settle your IRS debt to get the power of the Debt Ninja. Dial this number now, 800-945-0083. We are going to build a great society where no man or woman or the victim of fear, or poverty, or hatred, where every man and woman has a chance for fulfillment and prosperity and hope. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den, Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The Moore Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the Moore Space Place. In town, on the town. The Mark offers landmark living in the center of everything you love about Sarasota. Priced from the 700s, spacious residences and elevated club level amenities create a private oasis in the sky. Promenade shopping and dining put the best of downtown downstairs. Sales gallery open daily at the corner of Pineapple and State Street just south of Maine. The Mark Sarasota. Presented by Coulter. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Our dew point is continuing to fall, and we have developed now a northerly flow to our air. North northwest coming in at about 7 right now. A little bit of cloud cover out there, 64 degree air temperature. The dew point of 55 is important because that is, well, the dew point theoretically is how cool the air can get. And I don't think we're going to get down to 55 this morning, but we could certainly get pretty close to the 60 degree mark as we start the morning off. That will allow our temperatures to slowly start climbing back up. And our daytime high temperature today, after this little morning dip, will probably top out no more than upper 60s to near 70. And the wind will be kind of breezy, so there will be a definite change in today's feel uh, in the air as you head out the door. Now we have a thin line of Radar echoes coming in here off the Atlantic. You'll notice that. That is our frontal boundary. Our frontal boundary is a very weak one in terms of producing any rainfall for us, so it's not going to do that. Our rains are clear. There's a few showers down to the south of us, but otherwise we don't expect to see any rainfall here today. What we will see is a few more clouds uh, giving way to sunshine today, so a little bit more sun than we saw 24 hours ago. Winds out of the north creating some lake effect snows to the north of us. New York State and Ohio and Pennsylvania all seeing some lake effect snows this morning. UP of Michigan also seeing some, uh, some snow showers. A lot of cloud cover across the state of Florida today. High thin clouds for the most part. These are not rain producers and they're slowly starting to erode away. You can see a few holes in them here and there, particularly to the north. That is as high pressure builds in uh, the name of the game for today more holes in the clouds, more sunshine in the forecast for today, and probably to start off the day tomorrow as well. But then, as that front continues to sink south, it stalls out, and as it stalls out, we start to see a little area of low pressure develop on it. That little area of low pressure will produce a cluster of showers 
that will eventually drift in our direction, bringing us better rain chances as we head into Saturday night, late Saturday night, and particularly Sunday morning. I think if you have outdoor activities planned for Saturday evening, it'll probably be okay. Uh, I think the rains will probably come pretty close to 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And even then, there'll be pretty much light rainfall. The better chance of rain comes Sunday. So for today, the clouds give way to a little bit more sunshine. The temperatures will certainly be cooler and the air drier. I think it's going to end up being a kind of nice day, actually, with daytime highs in the upper 60s and dry, low humidity air. Not bad. Uh, late weekend rain, we'll watch that occur. Here's the RPM computer model. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Cloud cover around today, kind of breaking apart, giving us a little bit more sunshine as we head into the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, we start the day off with a lot of sunshine. Then we cloud up at night, and there's that batch of rain that comes our way early on Sunday. And at times, I think, our rain showers could become kind of steady on Sunday. And at times, maybe even some moderate rain falling. We'll see how it plays out. But certainly, the cloud cover will eventually erode away Sunday evening and Monday. It'll be a much nicer day. So, 15 knot winds through the day today. That'll bring you a moderate chop with two to four foot seas. Winds will be up just a little bit today. And the forecast calls for a nice day today. I think a little bit more sunshine in the second half of the day. Daytime high close to 70. Cool tonight as temperatures fall off pretty rapidly after sunset because of the dry air. We'll be in the upper 40s. And then tomorrow, a chillier day indeed by about another five, six degrees. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, John. Taking a look at your Suncoast traffic this morning. The Skyway Bridge is open and clear. Moving to Manatee County, it looks like traffic is picking up in downtown Bradenton. Also on I-70 in downtown Bradenton traffic as well picking up. We do have a live look out on Bayshore Gardens area in Bradenton. It is off the corner of US 41 and Bayshore Gardens Parkway where there is a construction zone. So if you're planning to be in that area, please remember to use caution as many cars coming through that direction as you can see on your screen. Remember to obey the speed limit and keep an eye out for construction workers. Moving on to Sarasota County traffic picking up a little bit on B Ridge Road and some more cars off of Fruitville Road. But other than that, you were all green throughout that direction. Moving to South County I-75 looking free and clear of any traffic in both directions. Well, fans of the Rhythm and Blues will be able to enjoy the music while helping a good cause on the Suncoast this weekend. The third annual Suncoast Blues Festival kicks off today at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. Some of this year's performers include the Balkan Brothers, Jordan Patterson, Tommy Z, and Charles Wilson. Part of each ticket purchase will go to Family Promise Sarasota, which helps displaced families with young children in need of housing, counseling, or other needs. The festival wraps up tomorrow night. And speaking of music, Riverview High School will honor a, a former band director tonight. The school will be naming their band shell in honor of the late Andrew J. Crew. Crew served as band director at Riverview High School from 1968 to 1983. He died in 2014. Now, during his time with the school, he established the Kilty Band as one of the finest high school band programs in the country. Under his leadership, the band marched in famous parades such as the Macy's Day Parade and the Cherry Blossom. The band will perform during tonight's dedication starting at 7 o'clock at the Riverview Performing Arts Center. And in other school news, students in Manatee County are using toys to improve their science and engineering techniques. Take a look at the video on your screen. The students at McNeil Elementary and Bayshaw Elementary are advancing to the regional first Lego League Championship. How cool. Well, the competition will take place this weekend at Hillsborough Community College. The top teams will advance to the World Festival in Houston in April. The students have worked extremely hard to qualify for this opportunity. We all came in not knowing how to program, so we, we watched videos and asked other people that already knew, and we didn't know anything about the robots, so we just tried to learn our best. Certainly some brilliant minds right there. While well, the students are encouraged to use their engineering design skills to build and program robots, research real-world problems, and work together as a team to find solutions. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, a murder mystery in paradise as the FBI asks for help to figure out why a news producer was killed while on vacation in Belize. Why they think more than one person was involved. Coming up after the break.
Our dad is an incredible man, a great father, and a hero who served his country well. He worked hard to take care of us. Now we take care of dad with the help of Granny Nannies. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. I'm Joey Panic on Suncoast View. TV's Eddie Munster joins us in the studio with his latest Suncoast appearance, pottery making with Artful Giraffe, and Cafe Barboso in the kitchen. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Start the year off with a great deal during the Start Something New event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Take home a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $18,999. Or stop by today and drive away in a brand new Jeep Renegade for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Granny Nannies, we've been making house calls for over 25 years. When you need home health care services, there really is no place like home. Grandma! A helping hand and a gentle heart. Welcome back. It is 624 this morning in a new details in a murder mystery. Ann Swaney was killed while on vacation in Belize. The FBI now says it believes more than one person may be behind that murder. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the details. In this morning's GMA First Look, Murder in Paradise. 39-year-old Ann Swaney killed while vacationing at this eco-resort and horse farm in Belize. The FBI saying it now believes more than one person may be behind the mysterious murder. The public in Belize might, may have information about the suspect or suspects. Belize police say on the morning Swaney was murdered, she volunteered to stay behind from a horseback riding excursion because there weren't enough horses for everyone. When the group later returned, they reportedly found her yoga mat and other belongings on the waterfront deck, but saw no sign of her. And that's when we were alerted that her things were down at the yoga platform. And coming up at 7 a.m., former FBI Special Agent Brad Garrett weighs in on the case live. With your GMA First Look, I'm Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. When did mixing food with not food become food? Thankfully, at Panera, 100% of our food is 100% clean. No artificial preservatives, sweeteners, flavors, or colors. Panera, food as it should be. He's got the cash, he's got a condo, he's got a car, he's got a career. But that still doesn't mean he gets you. Time to shine. Orbit. Discover Card customer service. Ma'am, this isn't a computer. Wait, you're real. With Discover Card, you can talk to a real person in the US like me anytime. Wow, this is a recording. Really? No, I'm kidding.
100% U.S.-based customer service. Here to help, not to sell. I had my mission and Maxwell House by my side. Each Maxwell House blend is selected from five different types of beans. So all I tasted was victory. Maxwell House, good to the last drop. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why you don't like little... my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Whether a family member needs a little extra help around the house, assistance recovering from a hospital stay, or someone to check in on them throughout the week, Right at Home's in-home care is the answer. Your loved one deserves the right care. And now we need caregivers to help give the right care for the right reasons, the right way. At Right at Home, we're one of the only private home health agencies in this area with the opportunity to earn paid time off. If you're someone who loves helping people, take a look at our website and click on Jobs to join our team today. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Get the new year off to a great start with safety and peace of mind. Subaru was named the 2016 Best Overall Brand, Most Trusted, and Best Performance Brand by Kelly Blue Book. And ALG named Subaru its top mainstream brand for residual value for 2016. Now you can lease a new Subaru Outback for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Thinking about having surgery can be a scary thing. You know, take somebody who's in severe pain, bring them in, take good care of them, and then get them out and back to their life is huge. We focus on minimally invasive approaches when possible, and oftentimes people can be back up on their feet in a day or two with a whole lot less pain than before surgery. We fix people's lives. We do. For your plumbing, Electrical or air conditioning and services is qualified and service calls are free and services.com and services.com Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, President Donald Trump calling for an investigation into the election system, claiming people voted illegally. What lawmakers have to say. Plus, scary moments in Utah after a skier plummets 100 feet over a cliff, and it was all caught on camera. And money doesn't grow on trees, but it may be falling from the sky in one city. Now detectives trying to determine where it's coming from. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Glad to have you with us on this Friday morning. I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm John Scalzi. As I headed out the door about uh, three hours ago or so, I thought to myself, <laughs> you know what? I could have worn a light sweater and not, uh, not been sorry. How do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Walking out, I was like, uh, get me to the station so I can put a sweater on uh, because I, I didn't have one in my car. I even looked. Definitely a big change yeah. out there this morning. As you head out the door, you may want to wear a light jacket. I think temperatures will continue to fall over the course of the next few hours before they start to warm up again yeah. with a little heating. 
but they won't get all that warm compared to where we were yesterday. You can see a line of showers now down around the Fort Myers region. That's our frontal boundary looking at uh, some recent surface data. I think the, the front is probably between Fort Myers and Naples right now, and it is continuing to press southward. Our temperatures are uh, falling. We're at 64 degrees most everywhere, 64, 65. Pretty uniform temperatures. It's fairly strong northerly wind drawing down that drier, cooler air. And our daytime high today will probably only reach the upper 60s to near the 70 degree mark. Maybe the 70 degree mark. Maybe even not that warm. Maybe it'll just be the upper 60s. But we'll certainly see even cooler weather arriving on the Sun Coast as early as tonight. And we'll talk about that coming up in just a few. Jacqueline. All right. Thanks, John. Keep those sweaters handy. Taking a look at your Suncoast roadway this morning, Skyway Bridge looking free and clear of any traffic. Heading to Manatee County, it looks like traffic is picking up in downtown Bradenton, also on 301. We do have a live look out in Bradenton. There's been some backup this morning in the Bayshore Gardens area. This is a live look off the corner of US 41 and Bayshore Gardens Parkway. Now, this is a construction zone, so if you're planning to be in that area, please use caution of the construction workers. Obey the speed limits in the cars in front of you. As you can see, traffic picking up in that direction this morning at 630 in the morning. Heading to Sarasota County looks like Traffic is picking up a little bit on Fruitville Road and B Ridge Road, but I-75 looking free and clear of any cars on the roadway. And moving to South County, you are all clear in both directions on I-75 northbound and southbound. Well, topping our news this half hour, President Donald Trump will face the media alongside Britain's prime minister today to discuss a possible trade deal with the United Kingdom. It's one of several items on Trump's schedule today. Andy Rose takes a closer look at the president's agenda. More busy days ahead for President Donald Trump. Friday, he faces the media alongside British Prime Minister Theresa May. She signaled friendliness toward Trump, but she directly addressed areas of disagreement like NATO. To deal with the threats of the modern world, we need to rebuild confidence in the institutions upon which we all rely. And Russia. With President Putin, my advice is to engage, but beware. Speaking of the Russian president, the White House announced Trump will speak with Putin Saturday for the first time since taking office. The Obama administration accused the Kremlin of interfering in the 2016 presidential election. Obama brought sanctions and expelled Russian diplomats in retaliation. It's not clear what Trump will do next. Meanwhile, the president is also expected to sign an executive order looking into voter fraud. The order comes after Trump has continually complained, without basis, that millions voted illegally in the presidential election. Senator Cory Booker blasted Trump's fixation. He is a liar, repeatedly so, in pushing propaganda that has an agenda that is not in concert with honor or with the, with the facts. The White House says the president believes this, vaguely citing studies and evidence, but voting officials around the country say no such thing happened. I'm Andy Rose reporting. Well, President Trump also expected to discuss the ongoing fight against ISIS today. He will ask the Pentagon about the options available to accelerate the fight against Islamic State militants in Iraq and Syria. U.S. officials say the options include adding significantly more troops to bolster military aid to Kurdish fighters and giving the U.S. military broader authority to make combat decisions. Trump's visit to the Defense Department's headquarters will start the conversation over how to fulfill his pledge to eradicate radical Islamic terrorism, quote, completely from the face of the earth. Meanwhile, here in Florida, protests in Miami after the mayor of Miami-Dade County instructed jail officials to hold undocumented immigrants detained by police and then turn them over to the Department of Homeland Security. Now, this comes on the heels of President Trump signing an executive order to keep federal funding from being sent to sanctuary cities. The illegal, illegal immigrants that we arrest are not arrested for, for immigration issues. They're arrested because they committed some kind of crime. And, uh, and that's not going to change either. Those against the order says it creates constitutional issues, criminalizing people who have not been convicted. The man accused of killing five people and wounding several others in a shooting at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is now facing federal charges. Esteban Santiago has been formally indicted by a federal grand jury. He's charged with 11 counts of causing death of or bodily harm 
five counts of causing death during a crime, and six counts of using a firearm during a crime. He could face the death penalty if convicted. Santiago is scheduled to enter a plea to those charges on Monday. Meanwhile, in Orlando, the suspect accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend and an Orlando police sergeant will represent himself when the case heads to trial. While the judge told Marquise Lloyd it was an unwise de decision, he says Lloyd is competent to make that choice. However, Lloyd will have limited legal resources available to him prior to that trial. He is facing two first-degree murder counts and a host of other charges. Well, it's been almost five years since the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin. Now his family looking to share more of his story. Martin's parents, Tracy Martin and Sabrina Fulton, have written a book detailing the teen's life, the night he was allegedly shot by George Zimmerman in 2012, and the aftermath of that tragedy. They say the book goes behind the news stories and shows the world what they don't know about Trayvon. And I think this country has just gotten so nonchalant about murders and about death and about killing. You know, we just, we seem like, you know, we just, somebody dies and then you move to the next story. But it, we can't move to the next story. This is our entire life. Now that book, Rest in Power, The Enduring Legacy of Trayvon Martin, is set to hit shelves in January 30 face, first rather. And Cape Canaveral, NASA is paying their respect to the 20 astronauts who have died as part of the space travel endeavors over the last 60 years. A memorial was held at the Space Mira Memorial Visitor Center where family, friends and colleagues of those who have died all took part in the memorial and spoke about their lasting legacy. For us, they exemplify the pioneering spirit that helped to get us where we are today. And we'll build off that spirit as we continue to push humans further and further into space. They will not be forgotten. Those honored include the crews on Apollo 1, Challenger, and Columbia. In other news this morning, the United States may only have 49 states if a proposal is approved in California. State election officials have received a proposal to repeal part of the state constitution that declares the Golden State inseparable from the nation. Now, if it qualifies for the ballot and is approved by voters, the proposal could be a step to a future vote on whether California should break away from the U.S. entirely. The proposal needs 600,000 voter signatures before it can be placed on the ballot. Now, similar attempts to make California a nation or break into multiple states in the past have failed. And in New Hampshire, two Burger King employees now facing charges after reportedly selling marijuana through the drive through Police say the suspects cooked up a scheme using code words to sell pot to customers. They were busted after selling the drug to an undercover detective where he had to ask if a certain employee was working and then order extra crispy fries. The marijuana would then be put in a Burger King cup. A search of the employee's personal belongings showed that they did have marijuana in the restaurant. And check out this video. Police in Indianapolis trying to figure out why money is falling from the sky. I mean, I wouldn't be asking questions, that's for sure. People walking along the city streets saw the money flying around. I thought it was just my imagination. So I didn't see anybody, so I just picked it up, put it in my wallet, and kept on walking. <laughs> well, some people took the money. One man did stop to police to show them where they thought the money was coming from. That's when they found hundreds of $1 bills scattered on a rooftop. A restaurant at the bottom of the building was robbed last week, and police now trying to determine if that has any connection to that flying money. And take a look at this, a Utah man thankful to be alive after he fell 100 feet off a cliff while skiing. Devin Stratton and his friend Matthew Reeves were shredding the mountain slopes when Stratton hit what he thought was a jump, but he didn't realize until after he hit it that he actually was going off a cliff. I thought I was going to be paralyzed, and then as I went further, I thought I was dead for sure when I saw how big it was. Stratton crashed into the snow and walked away without a scratch. And we're just over a little over a week away from Super Bowl Sunday. And for those who plan on staying up late to watch the game, certainly not me because I'll have to be here at work. A campaign is underway to make it easier for you to get Monday off. Hey, there you go. Well, Kraft Heinz says the Monday after the game will be a day off for their salaried employees. 
The company also launching a tongue-in-cheek campaign to make Monday a national holiday. Well, the company has started a petition and launched a website. If enough signatures are collected, Kraft Heinz says it will send the petition to Congress. The petition claims more than 16 million people call in sick or miss work the day after the game. And, you know, that is not surprising. That is not surprising numbers whatsoever. That's hysterical. <laughs> Why does the ketchup company need the day off? Oh, because they're pumping out a whole lot of barbecue <laughs> sauce and hot wing sauce. That's why. Apparently so. Apparently so. You think you think Very our funny. bosses will let that one fly? I don't think so. I don't think no, so either. I'm thinking not. No. That's funny. Uh, we have across our region some cooler temperatures working their way in. By the way, I was I just uh, heard that the. Um, the apps on uh, phones for Delta Airlines are oh, yeah. not working so well this morning. Oh, so well. if you have your ticket on your phone, yeah. uh, you may want to make other plans yeah. if you're heading to like Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Definitely today. good to know. We'll have to look into that for you. Uh, we have across the region cooler air arriving. We'll talk about that in a second. ABC 7, My Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch My Suncoast News wherever you are. On our live stream, on our newly redesigned MySuncoast.com, and a brand new ABC 7 My Suncoast app. Powered by the Eye Associates, providing sight for life. Featuring traffic maps and live radar, and dining with recipes and all the hottest Suncoast restaurants. Visit MySuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab to download the ABC 7 My Suncoast app for iOS and Android. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. Looking for carpet? Look no further. Minnesota Flooring has Smart Strand Carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota Flooring today. Go ahead, make a fashion statement. Demand something more than just ordinary. Capture elegance in every turn and drive with flair. Where beautiful styling is standard. Stop in and take a test drive. I'll guarantee you'll never go back to plain vanilla again. The all new 2017 Fiat 500 starting at $14,999. Only at Sunset Fiat in Sarasota. You don't want to miss the annual Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 4th and 5th at the Venice Community Center. Just a week before Valentine's Day, it is the largest orchid show on Florida's west coast with thousands of blooming orchids on display and for sale. You'll also find orchid growing supplies, artwork, jewelry, accessories, and free classes. Make plans now to attend the Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 4th and 5th at the Venice Community Center. Doors open at 10 a.m. both days. Visit VAOS.org online for more details. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Join us for Sarasota Opera's 2017 Winter Festival, opening February 11th. Featuring Puccini's most famous opera, Madame Butterfly, Rossini's delightful comedy, The Italian Girl in Algiers, Poulenc's heartbreaking Dialogues of the Carmelites, and the medieval thriller The Love of Three Kings by Italo Montemezzi. Tickets are on sale now. Call 941-328-1300 or visit sarasotaopera.org. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Wind direction everywhere is coming in out of the north this morning. That's true to the north of us. That's true to the south of us. It's true over most of the state of the Florida, all the way down to about Fort Myers or so. That's where our frontal boundary is located. That's where the wind shift is taking place. That's above it 
where the cooler air from the north is being drawn down. 40 in Tallahassee, 47 in Jacksonville, 52 in Gainesville, 56 Daytona Beach. All of that cooler air is being brought down by those northerly winds as the frontal boundary is located just to our south. Our temperatures are falling a little bit, 63 degrees now in Arcadia, 65 Wachula, 64 Parrish, Bradenton, uh, 64, 66 in Venice, Northport comes in at 65, Boca Grande 67. We'll probably shave a few more degrees off those temperatures before they start to warm again. We have lower dew points this morning, 55 degree dew point. Yesterday we were in the mid 60s, so we've dropped our dew points 10 degrees. We've dropped our temperatures almost 10 degrees, and we have a fair amount of cloud cover out there. I think we'll continue to drop the temperatures a few degrees until we start to warm with a little daytime heating. And then as we warm, it's still only going to carry us up into the upper 60s because we're going to be fighting against um, that cooler air sinking southward. North-northwest wind now coming in at about 7. So even with a little bit more sunshine that I anticipate getting today, that northerly wind is going to keep us a little bit cooler. There's the frontal boundary kind of meandering through areas of Fort Myers sinking southward. Clear to our area. Uh, a couple hours ago, leaving us with um, nothing in the way of any radar echoes. Don't expect to see any today. Traveling, the Atlanta airport looks good. Raleigh-Durham airport looks good. Charlotte airport, fine. There may be some airport delays up around the Cleveland airport, but that's really in about the only place. Maybe Pittsburgh might see a little bit of an airport delay as well. A lot of cloud cover across the state. The frontal boundary kind of located just to the south. The warm, moist air kind of lifting up over that front, creating this high, thin deck of clouds. But we have holes in the clouds, and that's caused by high pressure building in from the west. This high pressure ridge building in is what's going to promise us a little more sunshine today. However, the frontal boundary itself sinks south and then just stalls out. And as it stalls out down here in the Florida Straits, on the western tip of it, a little area of low pressure is going to develop. That's going to create a larger mass of showers. And those showers will eventually work their way closer to us, riding on upper level winds. So we have a chance of seeing an enhanced shower chance Saturday night into Sunday day. Cooler, more sunshine, and lower humidity today. Watch the RPM computer model. Put it into motion. Cloud cover gives way to a little more sunshine today. That's a nice thing use the sunshine, but then we start to cloud up Saturday, Saturday night. We start to see increase in showers, and on Sunday, I think we could have periods of uh, sustained rain, perhaps. Looking at a 15-knot wind today for boaters, moderate chop on Bay and Inland Waters. And the forecast calls for cooler temperatures tonight in the 40s, tomorrow in the low to mid-60s. Same thing on Sunday, cloud cover and rain showers on Sunday. Back to you. All right, sounds like a little bit of a chilly weekend, John. Well, heading into our traffic this morning, looks like the Skyway Bridge is free and clear, but traffic picking up throughout Manatee County this morning. It is 647 in the morning. Looks like roadways getting a little congested on 301 and 70. Also, the bridge is heading into Bradenton. Now, we do have a live look in, Bra in the Bayshore Gardens area in Bradenton. It is off the corner of US 41 in Bayshore Gardens Parkway. Now it is a construction zone, so if you're planning to be in that area, please use caution as traffic is picking up as the morning continues on. Moving on to Sarasota County, looks like traffic picking up on B Ridge and Fruitville Road, but I-75 looking clear. And in South County, I-75 as well looking green in both north and southbound lanes. In health news this morning, unruly, restless behavior with boundless energy is often a natural byproduct of childhood, but in extreme cases, it can indicate attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. Now, in a new report, researchers at the Center for Disease Control say visits to the doctor for ADHD are on the decline. There were 9 million visits in 2009, but that has dropped to about 6 million now. The researchers also finding that doctors prescribe medication in about four out of five of these visits, a situation that worries some experts who fear the condition may be overdiagnosed. And in entertainment news this morning, the experts at award show site goldderby.com say Emma Stone set to win bet, is the favorite to win Best Actress at the Screen Actors Guild Awards this weekend. Other film favorites to win actor including Casey Affleck as Best Actor for Manchester by the Sea, Viola Davis for Best Supporting Actress for Fences, and Masharla Ali as Best Supporting Actor for Moonlight.
According to the website, Moonlight is a slight favorite to win Sunday's top prize for Best Film Ensemble. Well, Elton John being tapped to write the songs for a devilish upcoming musical, The Devil Wears Prada. John will supply the music for the stage adaption. It began as a best-selling novel about a woman working as an assistant for a Vogue magazine editor and was adapted into a hit film starring Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. John has also previously written the music for other Broadway hits like The Lion King. Well, still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, Forrest Gump inspiring more runners to hit the road. We'll show you what one man is trying to accomplish, all thanks to that film. Coming up. Thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Watch Animal Outtakes every week on ABC7. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now they're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Florida Studio Theater presents the regional premiere of Clever Little Lies, now playing in the Keating Theater. Secrets are exposed and Clever Little Lies are crafted in this fast-paced comedy by Joe DiPietro. Shattering and hilarious, Clever Little Lies is a story of long-term love and marriage, for better and for worse. Don't miss what critics are calling lively with big reveals and surefire comedy. Clever Little Lies is now playing. Tickets can be purchased by calling 941-366-9000 or by visiting floridastudiotheater.org. Well, it is 6.53 this morning, and here are the stories we're following for you today. A public hearing on whether or not to expand phosphate mining in Manatee County ends without a decision. The topic will be picked back up on Monday. And a new bill can have companies paying more money if they fail to report the spill of any dangerous substances. Plus, ride-sharing apps like Uber or Lyft now looking for new drivers to transport people in Venice. All you have to do is apply. And taking a look at our Suncoast roadways this morning, looks like traffic is picking up in downtown Bradenton on 301 and 70, but I-75 looking clear of any traffic throughout Sarasota and Manatee County, but traffic picking up in Sarasota on Bee Ridge Road and Fruitville Road as well. Moving on to South County, all is green 
for your morning commute. Yeah, so we have a frontal boundary moving through the area right now, and that's going to bring us some slightly cooler weather today by about 10 degrees, actually. Um, maybe upper 60s, maybe at the 70 mark. In any event, certainly chillier. And then tonight, cooler still. Nighttime lows in the upper 40s. That's going to feel positively frigid compared to where we have been, which has been about 14 degrees above normal for our nighttime lows. Then on Saturday, we'll have a little bit more sunshine, but maybe a little bit of rainfall as well during the overnight on Saturday. Daytime highs that will be cooler only in the uh, low to mid 60s. Mm, 40, a number I do not yep, want to hear. I know. Well, a marathon runner from England running across the U.S., Retracing a route made famous by Forrest Gump in the 1994 film, one of my other favorite movies compared to Dirty Dancing. Well, Rob Pope has already run the equivalent of 85 marathons. Now, he began running across the country last fall, beginning in Alabama and running to the California coast. And now he's making the return trip. He's documenting all of his travels online and averages about 32 miles a day, hoping for an epic finish. Maybe we'll finish in the desert sometime in 2018 with like 100 people or so behind. Now Pope is running to raise money for two charities, the World Wildlife Fund and Peace Direct. That is a lot of miles a day. Not a shot I could do that. <laughs> I have no idea how your body even regenerates I don't itself. Even, you don't have time to regenerate? I mean, I run amazing. like five miles a day, and I, the next day I'm really? still hurting. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do that. Oh, that is amazing. That is rough. He'll have a great speaking career, though. <laughs> that's for right, sure. After this is all over, he'll have no problems there. Yeah. Cool night tonight, folks. So uh, you'll probably want to bundle up if you're going to head out and about. Over the weekend, enjoying any of the outdoor activities we have to offer this weekend, and there's plenty of them. Yep. Uh, watch for some rain showers on Sunday, maybe late Saturday night. Otherwise, bundle up. All right, keep those umbrellas handy just in case. You don't want to get stuck in a rainstorm. That's right. <laughs> All right, stick around. Good morning, America. Coming up next.